Hello and welcome to our today's question on budgeting where we are studying flexible budgets. Now if you have a look at the question we have been provided with data for activity level of 10,000. We need to find out or prepare a budget for activity level of 6,000 and 8,000. So the data given here is for 10,000. Now what do we mean by data given here? If you have a look at material, labor, variable overheads, all these things are per unit. So this data could be for 10,000 or this data could be for 6,000, it is per unit. It does not make a difference. Then we, if we have a look at admin expenses, those are completely fixed, completely fixed at all levels, but they have been given in per unit at 5 rupees. So what does this indicate? That at this particular level, at present level of 10,000 units of production, the admin expenses are coming down to rupees 5 per unit. So in all, for these 10,000, the admin expenses are move up to 50,000. So my admin expenses are fixed at level of 50,000 for all. So they have indicated it in per unit terms, but we'll actually be using it in consolidated terms. And also same is the case with semi-variable costs. For semi-variable costs, we have selling expenses 10% fixed, distribution expenses 20% fixed. So for these also, we need to split the per unit expenses into fixed and variable. As far as variable it is concerned, we'll use it as per unit. But as far as fixed component of these semi-variable expenses is concerned, what we'll do is we'll consolidate it for 10,000 units and then use it for 6,000 and 8,000 also. So let us get on with it and make our table over here. So here is our table. Here are our expenses. Let us go ahead and categorize them. Material is completely variable and it is given as rupees 70 per unit. Then labor and variable overheads are 25 and 20 rupees at 25 per unit at 20 per unit. Then there are fixed overheads of 1 lakh rupees. Now we very well know that these 1 lakh will remain constant over all levels of activities. Then we have variable expenses which are direct, so they are per unit, rupees 5 per unit. Selling expenses we need to split, we will see. Distribution expenses again are semi variable 20% fixed, so we will need to split them. And admin expenses are fixed at rupee 5, so we will need to convert this also. Now, if we have a look at these expenses, fixed expenses, fixed overhead and admin expenses, these both expenses are completely fixed as you can see in the question also. Fixed overheads directly an amount is given as 1 lakh. In admin expenses, the amount is given as 5 rupees per unit. So I need to convert that 5 rupees into some amount that will remain fixed over the length. So let us go ahead and split these three expenses. This is taken care of. This one was variable, completely variable, completely variable. So these three were clearly variable. Then this one was again completely variable. This is completely fixed and already the amount is given. These two are semi variables and this one is fixed, but the amount is not given rather per unit expenses given. So I will be converting that per unit into the amount. So let us get on with selling expense to start with. Our working notes say that selling expenses. How much? Selling expenses are 13 rupees of which 10% are fixed. Selling expenses are 13 rupees of which 10% are fixed. So 90% are variable, 
टेन परसेंट फिक्स मेकिंग इट वन पॉइंट थ्री पर यूनिट एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट वेरिएबल मेकिंग इट इलेवन पॉइंट सेवन पर यूनिट सो आई हैव स्प्लिट दिस थर्टीन रुपीज इनटू द टेन परसेंट फिक्स कंपोनेंट एंड नाइन्टी परसेंट वेरिएबल कंपोनेंट नाउ दिस फिक्स कंपोनेंट इज पर यूनिट एज गिवन इन एडमिन एक्सपेंसिस बट आई नीड टू कन्वर्ट इट इन टू कंसोलिडेटेड अमाउंट so 1.3 per unit multiplied at present level of activity is 10000 so this becomes 13000 now i know that selling expenses fixed component is 13000 and variable component will be going at a rate of 11.7 per unit uh 10000 6800 fine then next is distribution expense on the list distribution expense is rupees 7 of which 20% is fixed distribution expense is rupees 7 of which 20% is fixed so obviously 80% is variable of these 7 20% would be 1.4 per unit and 80% would be 5.6 per unit fixed again is not used in per unit rather it is used in consolidated amount this 1.4 is at a level of activity of 10000 so if i multiply it to 10000 i get it as 14000 so now i know that the distribution expenses have been split into 14000 fixed for all and 5.6 variable component per unit and last we have admin expenses admin expenses have been given directly as fixed completely fixed at 5 rupees admin expenses at 5 rupees per unit and they are completely fixed So let us find that amount, making it fifty thousand. So this will be an amount of fifty thousand. So here we have the breakups. Variable, variable. These were directly given. Fixed in this case was directly given, but this fixed was not directly given, and we have converted into the fixed amount of fifty thousand. Semi variables need to be split. It was given as thirteen rupees. Thirteen rupees was split into one point three and eleven point seven per unit. 11.7 is variable it will be used as per unit but this is fixed 1.3 so we are converted into an into a consolidated amount of 13000 same goes with distribution splitting 7 rupees into 1.4 and 5.6 per unit 1.4 being a fixed amount is multiplied to 10000 to get the consolidated amount this remains as variable let us go ahead and fill in the fixed variables or uh, fixed quantities oh, sorry fixed costs then we'll see about variables so these are our all of the fixed components let us go ahead and fill in the variable components 1 2 3 4 and 5 1 2 3 Four, five, and six. Six variable components are remaining. Seventy rupees for ten thousand. Twenty-five for ten thousand. Twenty for ten thousand. Five for ten thousand. Then we have eleven point seven for ten thousand eleven, and finally we have fifty-six level. This is for ten thousand level. Can we have this for sixty thousand? Six thousand, six thousand would be six thousand into seventy, six thousand into twenty-five, and we can go on. Yeah, 
five. Then there was eleven point seven. Let me check this one. This was for selling expenses. Perfect. Then five point six into six thousand would make it. We have a seven point five two one fifty thousand thirteen thousand eleven seven hundred fourteen fifty six fifty. Perfect. For six thousand level, we have four twenty one fifty one twenty hundred thirty thirteen seventy two hundred fourteen. Perfect. And let us now go ahead and find it for eight thousand also. Let me check these values: five sixty, two hundred, one sixty, one hundred, forty, thirteen, ninety-three, six hundred, fourteen, forty-four, eight hundred, fifty thousand. Now, if we go ahead and add them all, for ten thousand level of activity, we get making it fifteen lakh fifty thousand. For six thousand level of activity, we get. Ten lakh eight hundred, and here for eight thousand level of activity we get being in twelve lakh twelve lakhs seventy five thousand. So the question was expenses. The prepare a budget for production at six thousand and eight thousand units. Admin overheads are fixed. So this is our budget for. Activity level of six thousand and eight thousand. This becomes up. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Here are some cards related to the video you just watched. Feel free to browse across them and do leave your comments and suggestions. And of course, don't forget to subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.